See you around, pal. Oh, it's you! Oh, you again! Am I glad to see you? I'm so happy we keep running into each other. Oh, look who it's her old buddy! It's her old friend, Dr. Jupy! What are you talking about? How wh How's it going? Uh, there's another locked door. I'm running out of time. God, I'm so worried about my kids. And a little bit about my wife, but mostly my kids. Okay, well, we'll, we'll see what we can do. Oh, my poor kids. I hope Douglas doesn't kill them. I can feel my wife Plenty calling for me. Douglas's office isn't too far from here. I'm going on ahead. I'll see you there. Jesus Christ, Douglas is gonna kill Dr. Jupy. Look at look how weak and, and cute Dr. Jupy is. Forget about it. Announcement. This sector has temporarily been designated as a mother's for and against violent zone. That means there's probably just going to be a lot of violence. An intruder has been You know what? That looks like Douglas's office, but we can't get in that way. Maybe we can go around back.
एक मस्त देखा You know, I, I, I guess I don't. I don't know. It's I, I, I'm I, I'm I'm conflicted on it. It's rough. I know what the afterlife is like. I've died. Dr. Chupi! You're still alive! <gasps> oh, my best friends. This is it. Douglas is right beyond this door. Can you help me out one last time? Yeah, let's do this. Oh, huzzah! Plimmy, Froopy, Sloopy, here I come. Don't forget to take you a while. It's tough, right? Yes! You're halfway there! Keep going, you can do it! Oh, I can't wait to see my little flimmy, proppy, and droopy! Pretty stupid right about now. He was fucking with us. We got played. Look at us. We got played. We fell for it. Damn it. <laughs> oh, fuck off. <laughs> I was never Dr. Jupy. There is no Dr. Jupy. Are you shocked, you idiot? You complete fucking moron. Oh, of course you are. <laughs> There's more! 
for all the hell. I got wasted at the party and woke up in a ditch without my exosuit. I was helpless and vulnerable. You could have killed me. But I was Some very nice, choppable flesh, actually. It was actually very nice. Oh! Ha! All right, dipshit, let's go. What? No hello? Nice to meet you, or thank you for saving me? Why? Like you not dying there with some sort of favor to me? Hi, I'm Sweetie. Thanks so much for rescuing me. How is that, dipshit? Now come on, use my time bubble to escape through the big fan in the corner. Pretty cool, right? You're gonna find out real fast that I'm the best Gatlian. Smartest, most useful, best looking. No, no, come on, come on, I'm pretty good. Douglas, it's Garmentuous. Where the fuck are you? I heard you made a complete fool of yourself at that party last night. Not good, Douglas. Not good. I'm gonna need you on top of your game now that we've got a hold of these humans. We're spread thin over on Earth, and I need more troops immediately. Not to mention things are gonna start heating up all over the galaxy as demand goes up. Big things are happening, Douglas. Get excited, and get your fucking shit together. Okay, yeah, fuck that. See what else this time bubble can do?
Incredible, right? What a thrill. You know, you can use that time bubble on the G3, too. And try loading the bubble up with my crystals. Then you'll see why I'm the best Gatlian. <sighs> We're gonna make a good team. I can feel it. Just listen to everything I say and never use the other Gatlians. So what's next? You turn in the bounty somewhere? Go do that. We can wrap this up. But, uh, hey, there's something you should see. Take a look after you turn in your bounty. All right, good. Get over here. Check this out. Hello, Blim City citizens. That's Clug Nugman, Blim City Magistrate. As you all know, I'm working hard to flush out all the crime and drugs from our streets. I'll be the first to admit, we haven't made much headway in the fight against the G3 cartel. All right, all right. Now catch us next bit. It's all about to change. We've learned of a bold bounty hunter who's been bravely taking this G3 matter into their own hands. You hear that? He's talking about you! Apparently they've already dealt with two of the cartel's most powerful officers. Yeah, you got lucky. I am not too proud to ask for help in our war on drugs. Bounty Hunter, if you're listening, please consider joining forces with the good people of Blim City. I hope you'll choose to come forward and meet with me personally at my office in City Hall. Yeesh, desperate much? Can he even help us? I already told him you go. Oh, great. No, don't start. Trust me, he's legit. This guy's been anti-G3 since before any of you were even in diapers. Honestly, I don't know if Gatlin's even wear diapers. Head through there. Clug's expecting you. Sorry for making the call without you, but, uh, Clug's a good man. I say we hear him out. Thank you so much for coming, Bounty Hunter. It wasn't really our idea, but hey. Look. I'll cut to the chase. I need your help. You're a human, correct? My men looked into it. Sorry. You survived the G3's attack on your home planet Earth, right? Uh, no. We're Gatlians. Unless you're talking about my personal chauffeur. Of course. Sorry. I'm familiar with your plight as well. It's such a tragedy what happened on Gatlas. It makes much sense that you and the human would join forces, but perhaps you have room for one more ally as well? Yeah, I'm sure the big hotshot politician wants blood on his hands. That's precisely why I need your help. I'm having the darndest time curbing the species drug trade. I can only do so much, and only within the confines of the law. I mean, I've got my hands full with Gary the Poisoner. He's not just poisoning the water supply, he's moved on to poisoning weirder stuff now, like street lamps. We don't even know how that works, or if it's actually a problem. Maybe it's fine to poison street lamps. I'm a bit overwhelmed, and I wish I could focus more time on the G3. But you... You've taken out two top G3 officers in less time than it takes us to file a single report. So you see how you can help me. But there's also one way I can help you. Oh yeah? And how's that? This tool on my desk here will help you rescue your fellow humans. You can use it to teleport them to a safe haven my team has arranged for them to stay at until the G3 are dealt with. What's the catch? Well, the human species is technically a drug. I can't have dangerous sentient drugs in the hands of my citizens, and you can't have your people getting captured and consumed. This solves both of our problems, assuming you plan to continue taking out the G3. Yeah, no shit, like we're gonna stop now. Then, thank you. Sincerely, you humans and Gatlians, you're both very noble species. This means a lot to me. I've made it my life's work to use my power to help people in need, but even I have my limits. 
I'm just glad I have someone like you to turn to. As a token of thanks, my team will be feeding any intel we find on the G3 directly to your handler, Mr. Zaruthian. We've already sent him everything we had. The rest is in your hands. Yeah, yeah, whatever. We just like killing freaks. If you want to help, you're more than welcome. That's all I have for you. Feel free to stay as long as you like. The view is breathtaking. Oh, uh, feel free to stay as long as you'd like. Yo! So, it went well, huh? I got a message saying they'll hook us up with any G3 intel they find. Yep, and he even gave us this weird thing we could save humans with. God damn, you got it easy. Nothing as convenient as this ever happened when I was bounty hunting. Hey, uh, speaking of, we should get you a jetpack before you head back out into the field. You're really gonna need it. Head on down to the pawn shop and see if they got one in stock. Oh, and yeah, you might want to hit up Blordo's chef stand, too. It's a little shady, but uh, those warp discs he's selling can be pretty helpful. Touchy feely. Hey, asshole! Come over here right now. Sorry for yelling and calling you an asshole, but I need you to come over here right now and buy my illegal shit. Illegal shit? This guy is talking my language. Here's what's up. My name's Stan, and I sell vials of alien cum. I know that's probably not what you wanted to hear when you walked over here. You wanted cum or what? So, you really got a lot of people looking to buy alien cum, huh? I consider it policy not to ask my clients why they want the gallons and gallons of alien cum they buy from me. I figure the less questions I ask about what people are doing with all this alien cum, the better. So, are you buying or nay? I'm not mad, I'm just curious. Do we really look like your typical customers? Sure. Look, I have absolutely no idea. I'm shocked to my core every time somebody buys literally truckloads of alien cum from me. But they do it all the time. There's no rhyme or reason to it. I've been completely unable to narrow it down to a set of demographic. Grannies, cops, movie stars, politicians, everybody likes my delicious alien cum. I've had every type of weirdo coming up here saying, I like 600 gallons of your absolute highest quality alien cum. And, and, and I say, does it matter which aliens the cum come from? And they say, no, sir, it truly does not. I just want some alien cum. No further details needed. So what? What's it going to be? You want some alien cum or not? Look, I can't believe we're doing this, but let's have some cum. Whoa, look at you. You want some alien cum. I'm so glad you're interested. Look, you caught me on a good day. I'm doing a promo one time off for free alien cum. Take some on the house, and if you like it, just come back and get some more. Just tell all your friends about me. Say Stan has the absolute best alien cum I've ever seen, tasted, touched, whatever. I'm not sure if it's his or if he's getting it from some other alien, but I'm just such a huge fan of his work and what he's doing out there on the streets of Blam City selling alien cum to the community. Say all of that. Yo, Mr. Keep, got any jetpacks back there? A jetpack? Oh, certainly. I can help. Uh, I can help.
Ah, jetpack, huh? Great choice. Really phenomenal choice. Let's lock that purchase in. Nice. Don't we get a jetpack now? Not so fast. I gotta back order that bad boy. I'll have it ready for you in a couple of days, I promise. No refunds, by the way. This purchase is final. Oh, way to rip us off. Guess we'll wait, not like we have a choice. Let's go tell Gene. Take good care of that now. You know, Jorb, I don't think you're very nice to me. Oh, I'm okay with that. Well, it's not fine for me. I'd like to see just one second. A little respect out of you. Some uh, food. Hey, hey, come here. Hey, hey. hey, welcome to Blordo's. I'm Blordo. You here for the food? Or the other stuff? <laughs> what, what do you mean, other stuff? Nothing, nothing, nothing. Forget I said anything. <laughs> no, come on, we're, we're good. T tell us. Oh, fine. I sell secret shit if you know what to ask for. But don't tell the cops. Now order something or leave. Get you fed, shall we? Excellent. Good day to you, food customer. I love you, okay? I said it. I, I already said it, but I mean, I said it and meant it this time. The other times I was just being. 